again. And I'm here in the Vaughn Woods. And today I'm going to do my next episode about the Lynx. And it's been a while since we did our last episode because of this whole coronavirus thing going on. But now I'm doing one on the Lynx. And you already know that I did one on the Lynx's close cousin, the Bobcat. But anyway, um... There are many different kinds of lynx. They all live in North America, Europe, and Asia. And the largest lynx is the Eurasian lynx, which lives in Eurasia, hence its name, which is between Europe and Asia. It can weigh up to 100 pounds, and it can take down prey four times its size. That means it can take down 400 pound animals. And if you compare it to its smaller cousin, the bobcat, the bobcat only weighs 60 pounds. And the lynx is one of the three big cats of North America, the other two being its close cousin, the bobcat, and the cougar. Now, um, there are... 40 different species of cats, and looks like there are three different family groups. True big cats, true little cats, and cats that are considered both big cats and little cats. The only four cats that are considered both big cats and little cats are the cougar, the cheetah, the snow leopard, and the clouded leopard. And the reason why is they're considered big cats because of their size, and little cats because of the shape of their eye pupils. Big cats have have eye pupils that are shaped like circles. Little cats have long, thin eye pupils. So the only four true big cats are the lion, the tiger, the jaguar, and the leopard. And the jaguar and the leopard. The Eurasian lynx is the largest true little cat in the world. However, Here's something interesting. Snow leopards weigh 170 pounds, and clouded leopards only weigh 70 pounds, and they're considered both big cats and little cats. But at 100 pounds, the Eurasian lynx is smaller than a snow leopard, but bigger than a clouded leopard. So don't you think a Eurasian lynx should also be considered both a big cat and a little cat? And another thing, lynxes, because they're so big and strong, they, they can take on even larger cats. Here in North America, they can take on cougars, and in Asia, they can take on snow leopards. Now to end my show, <clears throat> I'm going to do something really interesting. You're probably all wondering that rivalry between dogs and cats, dogs versus cats. A lot of people wonder who really are the more dominant predators, dogs or cats? Well, here's something. Let's do little face-offs with the three wild dogs of North America, the wolf, the coyote, and the fox, against the three wild cats of North America, the cougar, the lynx, and the bobcat. Now. The wolf is the biggest of the three wild dogs of North America, and the cougar is the biggest of the three wild cats in North America. And, I, and in wolf versus cougar, I already know who would win that fight. The cougar, because the cougar is bigger and stronger. Cougars weigh 300 pounds, wolves only weigh 220 pounds. And for lynx versus coyote, lynxes weigh 100 pounds, coyote, coyotes only weigh 80 pounds. The lynx is bigger and stronger, so I'd say the lynx. And finally, the fox is the smallest of the three wild dogs in North America, and the bobcat is the smallest of the three wild cats in North America. And in bobcat versus fox, the bobcat weighs 60 pounds, the fox only weighs 40 pounds, so my money's on the bobcat. I'll bet my money on the bobtail nag, somebody bet on me. So apparently, the three wild cats of North America will beat the three wild dogs of North America, and... Here's another thing. If you want the ultimate dog versus cat face off, think tiger versus wolf because the tiger is the largest cat in the world and the wolf isn't the largest dog in the world. The English Mastiff is, but the wolf is the largest wild dog in the world and there are wolves in Asia and they have met up with Siberian tigers 
and not even the English Mastiff gets as big as a tiger. So if the cougar can kill a wolf, then imagine what a tiger could do. So it sounds to me like tigers, it sounds to me like cats are the more dominant predators. Another advantage cats have over dogs is that they live longer. The oldest dog ever was 30 years old when it died. In fact, there were two dogs that lived to be 30 years old. They certainly weren't giant breeds, but amazingly they weren't tiny breeds either. They were normal size, medium sized breeds, and the oldest cat ever was 40 years old when it died. So cats are better than dogs. So forget dogs chase cats. How about cats chase dogs? Thanks again for watching. See you next time on another special episode of Ben's Wild Adventure. Over and out.